KPIX 5's Emily Turner joins us now with how a simple request escalated into a racial slurs and an altercation. Emily? Ken, it was a physical altercation, and apparently this is a regular occurrence every day. So now the local transit workers union is asking for changes to keep them safe. Even public transit in the times of COVID has become contentious and in at least one case dangerous for drivers. We talked to one who was attacked after asking a maskless rider to get off. He said because I'm Asian, I probably have COVID. I was upset, furious. What does my race have to do anything with a disease, with a virus? That driver made repeated announcements about mandatory mask wearing, then eventually pulled his bus over to put it out of service when the suspect didn't comply. The attacker hurled racial slurs and spat at the driver, and it only escalated from there. He struck me once on my right finger mm -hmm. and once on my right leg with a baseball bat. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I was able to, to grab the bat away from him. Once I did that, he struck me twice on the side of my face with his fist. The attacker hasn't been found, and Roger Marenko, president of the local transit workers union, says run-ins like this happen to muni drivers every day, thanks to the untenable position they're put in enforcing the rules. We are um, requesting the public to adhere towards safe policies, and when we do that, we oftentimes are chastised for it by some unruly passengers. He says they're asking the city for more people to enforce public health rules, not the drivers, along with hazard pay for employees who deal with the public. Until that happens, he says, drivers will have to keep their eyes on the road and watch their backs. This is not the first instance. It's not the last one, unfortunately. It's extremely dangerous. It's scary. And no, we should not have to put up with that. And that interview was thanks to our sister station, KTSF. Again, they have not found that suspect involved. And anyone who knows any information is asked to call San Francisco police.